Hey, Nick. Um, tough loss tonight. That that first quarter when they really got going, making what they made eleven threes. Was it just guys a little bit slow to get out the shooters, breakdowns in schemes? What did you see? Yeah, just game was moving too fast for us, Doug. You know, it was just the, uh, uh, you know, they were really pushing it up the floor. I mean, it was an emphasis for us. They were a good, really good transition team, but there was just too much happening too quickly. Um, and some guys made some deep shots as well, and they really were they were just playing really carefree and fast and popping it around and just not contested enough. That's that's the bottom line. What are you what are you learning about your guys in this stretch where you're asking players to assume different roles or more important roles than they may normally have? Well, I think I think the thing you're always trying to to accomplish, Doug, is is a consistency, right? Like I really think that's one of the things that separates guys. I, I always say that you know, the guy that scores twenty points a game in this league night after night after night after night after night. I mean it's that's a hard job, you know, to do it that many times a week and to deal with, you know, so it's, it's always a, it's always a, like a tremendous fascination for me for those guys that can do that every night. And these guys that haven't played all that much or, or whatever, again, we're just trying to look for what can they give you something consistent. I'm not, I'm not talking about 20 points, but can they, can they kind of replicate, you know, some good performances a little more consistently. And I, and I know that takes time sometimes. And I always talk about sometimes like, like you look at a stretch of five games and I don't know, Norm used to be a good example. I used to yeah, use yeah. Mr. Norm all the time. You know, he had two out of five good ones and, 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 you know, one not so good and a couple, you know, and then we got to try to get that to three out of five and then, you know, four out, you know, so, so, and then, then when you really become a guy in this league, you're doing it most nights, you know, you're not going to do it every night, but when you get to three out of five or four out of five, so we, we're striving for consistency and trying to see, you know, which guys can can do that. And not, you, it's safe to say you haven't found guys in that deep end of your rotation who can bring it three nights out of five. Well, that's what that's what I think. Um, you know, was really disheartening about the other night. I thought we had some tremendous performances from Chris Stanley. Uh, you know, kind kind of kind of wasted some some really superlative nights and didn't get out of there with anything to show for it and you you know you get you get concerned when they have such a big night like that or such a good night at both ends and and then um you know you're hoping they can do it again but as i said it's not easy to do in this league especially when when you do have a good night you move up to the front of the scouting report right. and, and and all those kind of things as well thanks very much nick as always safe trip over to chicago thanks doug thanks doug uh we'll go to eric Hey, Nick, um, obviously your team's going through extenuating circumstances right now. Uh, to that end, I, I counted three Charlotte threes that came in transition after made baskets from you guys. You spoke about how quickly the game is moving. Usually I think you'd say that's unacceptable. Uh, where do you sort of lie given what's going yeah, on? Yeah, I, yeah, I don't, I don't really know, uh, Eric. I know exactly what you're talking about. It was just a stretch of the game. and I, I mean, you were watching the same thing I was. It was just a stretch of the game that there was such hesitancy in, in changing ends. You know, it was, it was, uh, and I don't know, I don't know, that's usually one thing that we do. And it was, it was an emphasis. It was the biggest emphasis of the night. And, and I, I guess I just don't know what to explain when like a whole group of guys, when, I don't know, let's just say um, Norman drives in and gets knocked down and doesn't make it. And then there's all of a sudden it's a three on one the other way. I mean, that, that just can't happen. You know, the play, when, when Norman releases it, your play on offense is pretty much over and you're, you know, and you got to start making that quick, quick, um, decision to, to go to the other way and it was just we just froze for a couple heart you know a couple beats or whatever seconds or half a second what you know that's all it takes and, and it just seemed like we were behind the play a little bit too much during that stretch and you know we just just gotta we just gotta be a little more uh attentive to details I guess uh and what do you think of Lamella up close no he's good I thought I thought obviously he's really really growing and you know, the, the three ball from deep is a huge weapon for him. But I think the um, biggest thing is he's, he, he made a couple of plays. I'm not saying we were threatening to cut the game down, but in the 15 to 17 point range that were not looking good for them. And all of a sudden he zings a 
no look pass for a layup or something. You know, you, you think you think you're just about got them all bottled up and you're heading the other way, and and he would make a really spectacular pass for a, an assisted bucket. So he's you know he's got a lot of game in him and he's got size and obviously, you know he looked really good out there tonight. Thanks, Dex. Safe trip. Yep. We'll go to Aaron Rose. Hey, Nick. I, I wanted to ask about Ellenson. Um, you mentioned potentially getting a look at him tonight. You guys did. What did you think? I thought he was good. I thought he was good. I think that he showed some some resiliency and some um, IQ out there. It looks like he knows you know knows how to play. Um, you know, he's he, he's kind of specialties of pick and pop. If he'd, again, he, he did finally hit one, but he, you know, he, he had three really good looks right when I put him in, you know, makes a couple of those and he looks, looks great, I think, tonight. But I thought I liked the way he battled. I liked his finishing around the basket. I think he was on the glass, you know, pretty well. I thought he did a nice job tonight. And I'll ask you uh, to put your Canada basketball hat on. Uh, Nate Darling made his debut tonight, first Canadian from a out east, what does it say to have, I guess, both coasts covered now and basically <laughs> everything in the middle um, about Canadian basketball to see a Nova Scotia guy make his debut? Yeah, I spent, I spent, uh, it seemed, seemed like there was a lot of Canadians. I spent last night watching the, the Memphis game and, and um, Memphis, Denver, obviously. So there was three, three guys there. I watched a bit of OKC today and, and then another guy here today. So there's guys turning up everywhere. It's good to see, I think, the, the depth of talent. Um, continues to show up all over the place.